hell no. If anyone showed up to a party like this, I would say you, you're kicked out. Oh my god, I really need this link though. A tiny pleather netted harness with a cheap police badge and some skanky shorts of the same material. It's hot. Ooh. Mm, ten. Oh my god, I really need this link though. <laughs> it's oh my god, does it come with a screen? His freak oh, those what a handcuffs. <laughs> You know, boys will see what they want to see. A sexy police costume and this shit, mm -mm, I don't like that. That look like somebody who, um, that look like something one of them aged out gay men be wearing, trying to prove to everybody he still got it. The police costume, like fishnet. Fishnet. one to ten. So I mean, you could just, ten. you know, cut this off right here, bring it down, and throw a little zipper on it right there and then boom, sew the middle of that. That's patent leather. That's patent leather. That's patent leather. I would say like, I mean it's really dope though. I would say like, I would say a 10. Okay, uh, out of 10, I would rate this a 7.5. Oh, now this is the big bad wolf. The big bad wolf is cute. Now this is, it's like a little thing with some ears on it and like some flannel material. This would be a perfect outfit for a pocket gay. You know, the small five, six and below gays that can go in your pocket. That fox fur, um, the shirt. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. I mean, Thank if you, you just wore nothing uh, like that. Um, this would absolutely get a 10 for me because it's so cute! Okay. I would say like a 6. I'd probably like say 6, 7, 5. Yeah, five. <laughs> <laughs> this one sucks. This one I hate. Okay, I really like the furry little plaid ears headpiece, but then it falls apart below there. I hate what's happening on the chest. He looks, he looks like, like Little Red Riding Hood was spit up by the wolf. He's this, yeah, so I really like the headpiece. I hate the overall thing and I don't know who it's for. So this gets a two out of 10. <laughs> okay, this one's really funny. <laughs> So this is supposed to be a fireman. I'm gonna get at a zero too, cause it ain't no white man out here with a d that big. That's just ugly. And even if it is, that's just ugly. And it looked like it's uncircumcised and the tip of it is yellow. That definitely can't be safe. Uh, the fire extinguisher. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. That's like that's a, like a two. I, I would say that would be like, I would say like a six, a five, six, because it's, it's corny, but it's funny. All of it is just very normal, except there's a giant hose jutting out where the man's penis should be. This is very funny, um, especially if the hose is structurally sound. It would be so funny to bang up against stuff all night and make great hose squirt and wet puns. That's hilarious. So this gets for me an eight out of 10. Jail Lingeray. Mm -hmm. I like oh, the that. back is nice. Let's do it. So like an eight, nine. Yeah, I would give that a, like a nine. I like the hack. Yeah, I'm gonna need that photo one. It's sort of like a sexy jailbreak look. Um, this is sexy with a sort of, um, a sort of like numbered cap. There's some fun chains connecting to bracelets and then like a, a short overall moment. I like this. I guess the bummer political part of me is saying this is trivializing incarceration. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But then the horny gay side of me says this is hot. 
There's a little bit of chains. There's overalls, which make everyone look sexier. I don't know why, but overalls make every man look sexier. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Hold on now, hold on. This is the sexy uniform. Um, I guess he's in jail or something. It's like a jail outfit. Now that's hot. Now I wanna see that motherfucker go in there with Big Willie for real and see what happened with that outfit on. You gonna eat your cornbread. And I need it with popcorn and sit outside the window and watch what happened in there. Oh gosh. <laughs> Unisex banana slit costume. Now that is like a three. Yeah. That's I'd like three. really. Uh, I'd say a three. Talking's all I'm talking. Oh hell no. Who would wear this stuff? This is a banana. Now if I was had it, okay. So it's a banana, and the banana's peeled a little bit, and you know. You know, it's peeled, and where it's peeled, there you know, the little hanging out. Mm -hmm. You catch me on the right night, I might be into that. That gets a ten for me. The sort of horny, mean-faced banana. Who, yes, once again, the banana is exposed as if it were the man's penis. I hate this because the face is terrifying. The face is very gross and assaulty. It's not funny. Like, if anyone showed up to a party like this, I would say, you, you're kicked out. You have to go home right now. I don't care who you are. You have to leave. This is unfunny and you're not funny. I hate it. It's stupid and it's too hot and impractical. One out of ten. <laughs>、Yeah, I think my problem would just be a child. Go back to your childhood place, your childhood moment of when all the other outfits that you couldn't do growing up as a kid. Just go back to that moment and be like, well, what would I would have been if you know the last my last Halloween or you know what which Halloween could I redo over? Okay, the key to the perfect Halloween costume is that it has to be funny, but not just funny. It has to be clever and smart and. Particularly so, low maintenance or something that's manageable. I can't do the fangs and the blood, fake blood and whatnot. Something that I'm going to have to be cleaning up all night. The makeup and for people who can do that, that's amazing. Go you.、Um, that's not me. That's not my bag.、Uh, one day, hopefully,、um, I will have that patience. But for me, I think it's about being able to manage it all. Whatever you have on, just just have fun and not have to worry about too much on you because that ruins the mood. You can do traditional, so you know things like、uh, scarecrows and witches and and ghosts and goblins. But co customize it to fit now. You know, so you can be a sexy ghost now. You can walk. I would not recommend walking around with a white sheet pillowcase on your head, especially if you're white. So you might have to find another way to be a ghost, okay? Yeah, I, I mean, if you do Halloween parties and stuff, then yeah, you get like dressed up. I mean, you do like different like, party, different outfits.、Yeah. That's expensive, so you know, you just go to the thrift store. But I mean, it's whatever your outfit is, make it relevant, make it fresh, make it now. Or you can always go to pop culture, and whatever's going on in pop culture is always relevant now. One year, I took a big、uh, piece of cardboard and I cut out the letter B. And I stuck a whole bunch of、uh, cards, like、uh, playing cards, on it, and I went as Cardi B. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know she had all of that in her. Something that's low maintenance, that has a punchline, something that's fun and funny, and that won't get in the way. If all else fails, you can always, if your man come out as a Chippendale dancer with some black fitted jeans and a black necktie and a top hat and oil yourself down. You know, do ten push-ups before you leave the house and come on out. Well, picking the perfect Halloween costume, I don't really get into that because I don't really give a. F、um, just literally, I don't know. Just go as yourself because some of you bitches is fake as f anyway. You ain't gonna be that way tomorrow. You ain't gonna be the same way two days,、um, you know, down the road. So just go as your self, a fake ass bitch.
Mm -hmm. You catch me on the right night, I might be into that. That gets a 10 from me. <laughs> you know I like a little bit of everything. <laughs> I'm just, I think my, it's just my hormones. You know, I haven't slept with nobody in a while, so you know, everybody look good now. And I didn't know till I was in the shower the other day and I was washing that wash rag, touch one of my nipples, and I was in there screaming.